I think we just uh, keep on the same page. You know, we're just preparing for a different opponent. Um, the thing that changes is uh, obviously the importance of these matches and, and how crucial they are right now. Um, you know, it's not uh, something where you're adding three points to the table or what it means for the long term, but it's more about uh, what the result means for you now and what it means for for the second leg. So I think, to be honest, it's it's been good that our last game was uh, was a cup match. Uh, it was uh, in the same uh, same type of context. Um, so that keeps our, our mentality going that way. So I think that keeps us very well focused for tomorrow night. And what have you seen in your scouting in uh, Independiente that uh, you think you might be able to uh, expose here at home? Yeah, first and foremost, Independiente is, uh, is a very good squad. They're a squad with uh, pretty good history in this uh, in this competition uh, going back a, a few years. And uh, we've seen them here in North America. Um, I think it was uh, knocking out uh, Toronto FC back in 2019 in the, in the Champions League. So the team that has some experience in this competition, you know, at the same time, like with every opponent, we dive into them very deeply. We've seen all their matches from this year and seen what, they, what they've what they done. And they're a successful team at the, in the way they play. You know, they've uh, they've won the majority of their games uh, to start their clausura season in in Panama. They're very effective in doing that. They're a team that likes to apply good levels of, uh, of pressure and be very direct and, uh, you know, very energetic in your half of the field. And, you know, we expect that same uh, DNA in that team to come out here to Morton's Field tomorrow night. Good. Um, you guys have played so many games in this competition on the road, just miles away from home, and you're finally bringing it back to Tim Hortons Field. And I know that there's, there's so many challenges with playing, you know, on the road in Central America and whatnot. How different do you expect this game to be tomorrow? And, and what are maybe ways that maybe you guys can can maybe have home field advantage against a team that's a little unfamiliar? Yeah, first and foremost, it's always good to play at home. You know, we've uh, we've played 10 games in CONCACAF, eight of them uh, in CONCACAF League, eight of them have been on the road. You know, two, two games we've played here back in 2019, we've won against some very good competition. And, you know, just playing in front of our fans, playing on this field gives us a very comfortable approach on, on how we go into the game. There's not many variables on, uh, on quality of pitch or, or what we're going to find. Um, so from that end, we've played some very good football here at home and we expect to continue that uh, tomorrow night. And, and that needs to be our advantage, you know, our crowd and the field and the way it plays for us need to be our advantage against a team who will come here and it'll be a little bit different for them in the midst of a wild stretch for your club, but I'm curious, how would you evaluate where things are right now in terms of in a playoff position, moving on to the Canadian championship about to take on this next chapter of the CONCACAF league at home. When you look back to where the season started and your plans, how would you evaluate where this club is right now? Yeah, at the start of the season, we have four uh, trophies we're competing for in this uh, season. You know, we've got two Canadian championships. We've got the uh, Canadian premier league and our star shield, and we have CONCACAF league. Um, so, uh, you know, when I uh, check right now, we're, uh, we're still competing for all four. And I think that's very important. We've had a tough start to the year just based on scheduling and, and training and what we had to, to start off the season. We've had a lot of challenges with injured players, with players missing in the lineup, you know, for large stretches, mit- missing seven players. And I think we've come through that very well. We've come through that uh, and we're ready to play in all of, uh, all of the competitions ahead of us. Uh, this one is an important one for us. You know, we've we've competed for the last two years. We've gone through the difficult way of constantly playing in the preliminary round, uh, having to gain points for for our league, for our spot, for our Canada two spot. Um, very good first round against a very good team in uh, in CB Fas. And now we just want to keep on going and take one step further. And that's what we talk about every year. How can we take one step further? Last year, we did it in CONCACAF League. We went one step further than 2019. Now it's a matter of uh, doing uh, one step further than 2020. But, you know, everything is, is good with the team. We're, we're getting healthier um, day by day, week by week. And I think uh, we're almost there and it's at the right time of the season.